10 animals you'd swear were created in a lab, and number one looks like someone built it out of spare parts. Number 10, the Munchak Deer. A tiny body, dagger fangs, and a prehistoric stare. It looks like a glitch between a vampire and Bambi. Number nine, the Peter's Rock Agama. With bright orange and electric blue scales, it looks like it fell into a vat of paint. It's like someone hit random on a video game character creator. Number eight, the bat-eared fox. Their oversized ears look stolen from a cartoon, but they're built for survival, picking up insect footsteps from underground. Number seven, the blue-tongued skink. With armor-like scales and a neon blue tongue, this reptile looks part tang, part glitch. Its face says lizard, its tongue says special effect. Number six, the dragon-headed caterpillar. Spikes, horns, and a false set of eyes. This crawling creature looks more like a boss from a video game than something you'd find on a leaf. Number five, the echidna. Part hedgehog, part anteater. One of only two egg-laying mammals on Earth. Everything about it defies logic. It's like nature stitched five animals together. Number four, the Jabiru. With a black head, massive beak, and a neck that turns fire truck red, it struts around like it owns the wetlands. And it kinda does. Number three, the Jaguarundi. A weasel-shaped wildcat with tiny ears and a flat face. It moves like a ferret, hunts like a cougar, and looks like it skipped an evolutionary step. Number two, the Kinkajou. With teddy bear eyes, a monkey's tail, and a raccoon's appetite, it looks like a stuffed animal that came to life. It climbs like a primate, and looks like it escaped from a fantasy forest. Number one, the Markhor. Twisting horns that rise like spirals and a stare that belongs on a mountain throne. It's a real-life beast that looks entirely invented. 